My Wildwood Rangers are getting ready for the incoming green tie. Yeah, the boys are coming to play. I love my boys. Oh, my green lads. Take that out of context. All right, what do we got? We got a spell weaver here, spellcaster, bunch of eternal guard, Wildwood Rangers with their stock abilities, three glade shooting boys, glade guard, all metal, anti armor, magical shooting. We got some lots of goblin archers, lots of boys, spears, and all that. Night goblins, light goblins. Some artillery pieces, stone trolls, and the night goblin war boss on his mount. Did not want to get hit with some fungi. Sending my glade guard over on the side here as my eternal guard get ready to set up. Got my wild rangers to do some counter charging and some to take the side objective. We even summon in some ROR dryads come in too. Rates of the Frozen Heart, which will be back any and all trash units he sends my way. But this is a green tie. We got a lot of units to cut through, and we're going to shit sending a lot of arrows to deal with them. Try to hide behind this ridge so my opponent's artillery doesn't have any good shots until the Night Goblins can get into their own positions. And he's waiting, he's waiting. We got Wild Rangers coming to do some blending. Probably should pull back the Eternal Guard so these Wild Rangers could actually get some shots in. Make it a little less awkward here. Because you can see the models aren't engaging. So yeah, if I would just pull those back, this actually would have been a lot better. Wait until the stone trolls come in uh stone trolls come in so I can actually deal with them. But no, they're getting blended pretty hard by these ones though. Well would actually get engaged and blended the shit out of them. Spell we were coming in to provide earth blood heals. We also made them stalk to uh, my Glade Guard earlier so that way they didn't get shot to the artillery so quick as getting as they got into position. And these Wildwood Rangers are going to blend these goblins in there. Frozen Hearth as well with the fear involved. Yeah. Summon in some Deepwood Scouts with the Swift Shiver Shards. And they will blend and shoot down everything here. Blades trading in with the Night Goblins. So that's not too bad so far. And yeah, we just have both positions. The wall comes in, so that does kind of scare me. That's going to give a nice burst of damage for these goblins, these boys. But that's okay, we got more arrows coming in. And I like my position here, just nothing but shields, try to heal them up, keep them going, and then kite or absolutely destroy whatever comes through or tries to get me. Uh, we can't really deal with the artillery, but we have enough stocked shooting units that we don't have to worry too much as long as we don't get within engagement range or vision range of a lot of these units, we should be fine. Stone Trolls. Having a hard time dealing with these boys. Yep, and there they go. Trying to get that Earthblood heal to keep this defense going. I should be chasing off those Stone Trolls, though. With my Spellweaver, just to make sure things keep going right. Night Goblins. Or, er, yeah, the Night Goblins actually get taken out. Those arrows, done. Thank goodness. Yeah, and it's just not looking good for my opponent here. Although he is up in value because how cheap his units are. He's losing a lot of them. He's got no healing. So I think it's about even right now. If not, higher for me. And yeah, we're just chasing off everything. Come on. I don't know how he's able to hit those. Well, I guess because of the stone trolls being there. Even though they're running away, they still provide plenty of vision. Boys being supported now by Boar Boys or Boar Boy Biggins. Yeah, Boar Boy Biggins. I don't know why I said Boar Boy Biggins there. I mean, it's not the worst call, but it's going to take me a while, if not lose straight up to the Frozen Heart and the ROR. Or the ROR. Lose to the Wildwood Rangers and the Frozen Heart. Ugh. Frozen Heart. More Boar Boy Biggins just being sent to the slaughter. Awakening in the woods right here. Great. Getting some heals off of that, too. Yeah, it's just he can't get through the defense. And we're going to be summoning in more Dryad to the front line just so we can keep this going and keep the pressure on. And yeah, it's just everything he throws at us, we just take it out. Four boys are finally done, just leaving these boys. we got great Stag Knights here, and they will beat back everything here. Yeah, there's just nothing. It's looking good for us, lads. The Wood Elves are still holding strong. My poor Greed Skids, though. My poor Orcs. My poor... 
poor boys, they just can't deal with all this nonsense. Stone Trolls come in trying to fight off the Stagnites. They're going to find out the hard way <laughs> how that's going to end. Wildwood Rangers still around. Trust me, they're just off screen right now. Looking back in the middle objective. These Night Goblins are still trying to fight, but we'll trade arrows any day into them. Just reforming ranks now. Trying to shoot off whatever we can. Probably just get into those Stone Trolls here. Dryads coming in now to fill in the gaps. As those Forest Riders are coming in. I really never see the Goblin Forest Riders. But to be fair with my build, they're actually going to look pretty good here because... And I thought I clicked on the Forest Riders. That's why I'm taking a charge here instead of beating up on them. So that was a huge blunder on my part. But yeah, um, I didn't bring any Glade Riders. Which is a, I feel like a huge mistake. I brought two of the, what are those, the Deepwood Scouts, but just the regular variant, and I honestly wish I would have just brought uh, <laughs> some Glade Riders to come intercept there, or plug in the holes here, maybe chase off a lot of these units. But I thought my Eternal Guard would actually last a lot longer here. I like the Dryads coming in to replace the turtle guard for as long as I can and then have the blade riders chase off anything here but yeah I probably should have just brought more like two blade riders and some spear boys just one regular eternal guard no shield and I think I would have been a lot better but yeah looking at the value now eh, I'm not looking too hot got to bring the great stag knights off the object here no we're gonna do counter charge of the forest riders I don't know if uh Spider Rider is actually going to win that fight, but they're definitely going to lose now with the Stag Knights coming in with the charge. Yeah, we'll at least get those boys off, and then come deal with the rest here. And those Spear Boys just keep lasting. But, we got healing, so we'll last just as long. We got Wild Hunters of Kyrnos coming in to deal with these Boar Boys and these Stone Trolls. The artillery pieces are just going into them. Everything's trying to go into them right now. Those Spear Boys just being obnoxious right now. Could use an awakening in the woods on top of them. That would be nice. Instead, we're going to put some arrows into their backs. Yeah, looking at my opponent's build, he's just being relentless, but we are even on units, and that is not where you want to be when you're playing Greenskins. Uh, Greenskins, you want to overwhelm and get those numbers. Even catching these Forest Riders caught off guard with the Dryad, so that's a nice free pickup. And just look at this. Even the Goblin War Boss wants to come in and deal with these Eternal Guard, which uh, he should not be doing. He should need to get out of there. There's a lot of anti large being provided from him when they can be, but when there can be. But I don't think there's any besides the Stagnites and the Wild Hunters of Kyrgios that are going to be large. He really needs some. What are those? What are a good unit there? Um, black Orcs. I would bring Black Orcs. Or even just uh, Savage Orcs. Which would do fantastic here. I mean, I'd shoot them down with arrows, but still. Once they're in engagement, they'll do fantastic. Frenzy, Muta Psychology, extra attacks, extra damage. Which would be fantastic here. Uh, Forest Riders. They do alright, but the fact that I uh, didn't have the right units is just pure luck. Had I just brought them... Yeah. Goblin War Boss getting a little caught up here. He's got big guns trying to deal with me. We got arrows shooting into the back of the Stone Trolls. Which is fantastic as the Dryads just overextend here in my opinion. Should just keeping this line nice and neat. But you know me. I am a pure corn main so I get a little distracted sometimes. But we are still holding the line here. There's some Stone Trolls that need to be dealt with but they'll be dealt with nonetheless. Bringing in more Eternal Guard and Blade Guard to come deal with this nonsense. Oh, those Stagnites getting shot by the artillery. Need to get them out of there. Probably going to chase off that Goblin War Boss or maybe take on those Stone Trolls. My opponent's not looking great. 19 to 15. We could send the Dryads over to the side here, maybe try to steal an objective. Night Goblins doing their thing. We got stock on our units, although it's not really doing too much. Force Riders trying to come in. He sees me coming for this lore. But we can deal with the Force Riders first and then deal with the rest of his units. Chase them off. Provide nothing but fear for them. No! My Stagnites. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a big mistake on my end. I should be fighting. 
the stupid force riders. Oh, we got arrows though, so maybe we can still catch this. Get a nice heal off there. And yeah, my opponent's not looking great. Uh, his uh, artillery is almost out of ammo, so that's not good for me, I guess. But it's also probably good. We still got a long game ahead of us, though. We got a lot of value saved up. Need to summon a lot of units with the rest of the stone trolls. War boys coming in, probably gonna deal with those glade guard. And we'll counter charge into them as soon as we can. And just need to start cleaning up house here, unsummoning a bunch of units so we can get them back in and summoning pool. And then resummon them. Bye, Glade Guard. My Starfire Chefs are done. Gonna try for a sneaky side. Cap sees how this middle objective's gonna be overwhelmed with the lads. Well, we're Rangers. Deal with them. Deal with them. And as long as we get rid of the spears, we should be fine. We can at least summon in some stag knights and whatnot. Come deal with this. And these boar boys have been nothing but pain in my bum. But we'll put arrows into them. We'll send them back home, packing. Stone Trolls trying to come to the side objective. We can deal with that later. We got wild rangers that don't want to be taking a charge from boar boys, but we'll do whatever we can to get rid of these lads. Come on. Come to the Deepwood Scouts. Come eat some. We'll just summon in another one and come deal with you after. How good is the charge? It's not bad. Actually, it's pretty... Yeah, it's okay. It's the after effect that we're going to have to deal with. Yeah, and this is where the Glade Riders would come in. They can intercept the Boar Boys. They'd be cheap little bodies as the... The Deepwood Scouts and the Glade Guard can just put arrows into them and not have to deal with them. So yeah, I learned my lesson. Two to three Deepwood Scouts is fine. And then just summoning Glade Riders to come deal with the cap. But we're not out of this yet. We are up in value. No, we are. <laughs> we're up on points. We're way behind on value. Although with healing, maybe we're only like 2,000 down, which isn't the worst. We're forcing him on multiple objectives. And I think instead of him just fanning out, just focusing on the middle would be fine. And then with his speed, his mobility, he could come in and just intercept my reinforcements trying to hit the side objectives. Although we do have a lot of vanguard, so it's not like it would be easy for him. And then just split up his forces that way, and eventually maybe steal the middle with some Wildwood Rangers that he can't see. Unless he leaves some Stone Trolls, and I don't think he wants to leave Stone Trolls in the middle by themselves. And without artillery support, they're going to probably get mulched up. We got Stags trying to intercept these boys as my kiting units try to get away, and I think they will. Because we got a lot of units hitting it, these boys in the back. So yeah, more Force Riders coming in. We got a big, big thing of Wildwood Rangers coming in, and they will blend everything here. No stone trolls, no problem. Wildwood Rangers, do your thing. These boys, they're getting chopped. Look at them. I love those great swords they got going on. Just cleaving through these lads. In about a second or two, this is all going to disappear, and we'll retake the middle objective. I really like the Wildwood Rangers. They are just insanely good for what you need them. Oh, man. You just don't see them coming, and by the time they're here, your infantry chaff or units that were supposed to be there, even their elite infantry chaff, are just blended. And you just retake an objective without your opponent knowing. On top of that, you got arrows you gotta deal with. Man, these Wildwoods are just nuts. I'm glad I brought these. And I'm thinking of doing a build with Draika here, too. So you got Draika, you got a bunch of Eternal Guard, you send them in. Draika is trying to get beat up by the Lord, you got Eternal Guard bodyguarding her. And then while that's going on, you got Wildwood Rangers eating up the chaff as they try to bog down Draika. And that's not including the Eternal Guard you got in the back, too. You got a Spell Weaver doing their thing. And just Wildwood Rangers get like a 14, 14 or 19 bonus versus infantry. They got, I think, like 40-something melee attack. So yeah, you do that with that, and you just have a good time. Oh, my Eternal Guard! I should have had them on Bracing. But you know what? It's not too bad. We got a lot of shooting units. We got some Eternal Guard coming in. Braced up, ready to defend. We even got my caster coming in to intercept as we try to shoot down these boar boys. He's got my side objective, but we got the middle. We got his side objective. So yeah, or yeah. No, we still have that side objective. He never caught it. Oh man, he's probably like one guy away. And he thinks he probably has it too. Oh, GG's opponent. GG's. Oh man. I, I definitely played that well enough. Pro uh, played it well enough. It was a bit sloppy in my end. 
My build needed some tweaking, but it is what it is. I was expecting more squigs and squig herds, but no, he brought forest goblin riders, which is interesting, but uh, I don't think that was a call. Definitely like the rock lobbers and the stone trolls and the fanatics. I think those were definitely good, for sure. Everything else, uh, pretty, uh, I like the dryads. Yeah, definitely lose two of those. Maybe just trading the great stagnites. No, I think the great stagnites are fine. I was thinking of doing that with wild riders instead. But yeah, definitely lose two of the deep woods. Keep the other three with swift shivers and then bring in two wild, uh, glade riders and then maybe one eternal guard, just regular, regular eternal guard and that's it. Call it a day and that's good. Alright folks, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, please like, sub, follow me here on YouTube. We're on the road to 2,000. Come join the Discord so you can see me on stream or come play some games. 1v1s, 2v2s, or just any other game. We do play other games here on the channel. So yeah, with all that said, I hope you guys have a good one. Peace, and goodbye for now.